Boom, peace intro. What's up, guys? Yeah, I sound a little excited. Yeah, I don't know why. Anyway, it's Thursday, I believe. Um, yeah, Thursday. Anyway, I wanted to make a little video because got me a custom in from Old Man Diecast that I bought from him. Pretty awesome. Figured I would show it. I, I he had it wrapped up in one heck of a, a little contraption, so I got that part open, and I cut the I cut the box. Let me back up a little bit, and I cut the box, but I have not went any further. I can see there's a sticker in there. Sweet, look at that cute little box. That's perfect for a custom. And uh, anyway, let me go back in there for a second. Anyway, I got to tell you guys some things. Boy, that damn Kamala here. No, I'm just kidding. I <laughs> got you. You know, I'm trying not to watch that stuff, guys. I tell you, it's hard, though. Ooh, it's hard. But anyway, let's go on. Mm. Ah, okay. Colin. Colin's Diecast. Buddy, hope you see this video. I don't know, but you might. You know, I, I recognize you. You've been commenting lately, and I recognized you. And so I went and looked, and man, I knew that's why I recognized you. I used to watch your channel, but you hadn't posted anything in a while. And then I, I realized that you had, you know, you have some medical conditions. And anyway, talking to you, you, were, you asked me in an email to try to find certain M2 vans. Well, I haven't had any luck. But you also mentioned that, um, you know, right now things, I don't know what the whole story is, but doesn't matter things aren't you know don't go good and pretty much just die cast cheers you up so that's cool but i wanted to say if you'll go to my email like you've been doing it give me your address i know it's across the pond but that's okay i'm going to ship to you anyway i've just got a couple things i'd like to give you if you don't have them because you say you like vans maybe it'll cheer you up a little bit and uh, but i don't know if you even like them but i've got this it's a m2 sprite Pretty sweet little 65 Conaline delivery van. And um, I figured I'd send that to you. And I have something that goes with it that I'll send with it. Look at that. Limited edition, 250 pieces. It's the raw version. Um. I know it's rare and all. I actually got it. It came in the set. Um, sometimes they would do that when I order from Diecast Model Wholesale. So it's a, it's not one I found on the pegs. It came with the case I bought years ago. Um, and I keep them. But as you know, let me see. I'm trying to see a year on it. I don't know. 2019, I think. 2018. But as you know, they're not my thing. But anyway, it's a cool little van. And, um, it's a raw, buddy. Um, only one I have. I don't have any others. Um, I do have some, some, some chases, but they're not raws. This is literally the only raw I have, period. And, um, I'll give it to you, buddy. Hopefully it'll cheer you up. And obviously, I usually can get about four cars in a package going out of the country for the price it costs me to send to. So I'll look around and see if I can find a couple more vans or something. Vans. I gave a girl a ride in my wagon. She crawled in and took control. Y'all remember that song? You gotta remember that song. Of course, it wasn't a Ford van. It was Sammy John's Chevy van. Remember that? Her young face was like that of an angel. Heard her, what was it? Her long legs were tan and brown. Yeah, I remember that. Man, that used to jam. Guys, you just don't know. I miss the 70s, boy. Boy, you can't think about that song without thinking about Lobo. Remember that? Me and you and a dog named Boo. 
Traveling and I'm living off the land. Damn, what did I get all that in my mind for? That's all that happened when I heard that band. You guys, sorry guys, but any of you guys from my day or sooner, remember those songs. The 70s, you don't know what you're missing. The 70s was it, guys. I mean, I know some people say the 50s, but... And honestly, when I was growing up in the 70s, I used to, you know, think the 50s was pretty cool, you know, but I wasn't there. And, uh, but what I, the 70s, 70s are the ticket to me. You know, people, some people say, well, what they always say about the 60s is, if you remember the 60s, well, you weren't there. <laughs> I guess that's because there was a lot of drugs going on or something, but the 70s, man, they were just rocking. I mean, you just can't, like I said, Sammy John's Chevy van, man, that just, just, just jam, I don't know, just, and like I said, me and you and the dog, Dan, you can't forget about, what about Sylvia's mother, Sy Sylvia's busy, too busy to come to the phone, old Dr. Hook, golly, I gotta stop, I'm gonna go on, that just takes me back, guys, I don't know, I know some of you old, older guys, older than me even, I mean, I, I was born in the 60s, but I was ahead of my time. I hung around older guys, always. From the time, I, I mean, I was one of those kids on the streets running around at seven. You know, back then we could get out and go out on our bikes. You know what I mean? You could, you could, you could get on your bike and, you know, your parents think you're running around in their neighborhood, but you're actually 10, 12 miles from home doing, you know, who knows where you are. And uh, I was, I was doing that at such a young age. I mean, by the time I was 10, 11, I was I was always gone. Twelve, I was even further than that at the beat. I mean, it was just, but I was always around older people. Started with older cousins. I mean, they were always way older, five, six, seven years. So that always got me around older stuff. So, um, so yeah, the seventies were just. Oh man, if you if you were there, you know what I mean, man. It was so different. It, God, it was so different. Didn't mean to go on about that, but golly. That van sent me right on into it. Yep, yep, yep. Good song, good song. She woke up and took me by the hand. Yeah, I'll just skip all that part. Anyway, there you go, Colin. Let me know. I'm going to send these to you, buddy. Hopefully it'll, you know, cheer you up. Unless, of course, you already have them. But, you know, whatever. Then, guys, that last drawing, Mr. Jefferson Jeffries won that. And he passed it on. I kind of thought he might, but I wasn't sure if I showed it real close and said, look at that baby, man. He might go ahead and accept it. But he passed it on to Mick Nasty. So old Mick Nasty got lucky and scored that baby. And, um, of course, you know, he told me Mick Nasty already had it to, to give it out to somebody else, but Mick Nasty don't have it. And Mick Nasty, he be liking I knew he liked it. And uh, so anyway, there's another super cool cat. Passed it on to McNasty. So there's that. Yeah, sorry for all you guys that don't know about the 70s, but I'm telling you, man, you just don't know what you missed. Those days are, golly, they're just so awesome. I just hate nowadays compared to that. Check out the old sticker from Old Man Diecast. Pretty sweet. Right on. Let's see what this here note says. I'm sure I can figure it out. James, you are the greatest guy. When I think of you, I wish I was a woman. No, just kidding. James, hope all is well there. Thank you very much for winning one of my creations. It means a lot. Thank you for being you. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, that's for damn sure. Wait, there's a movie in there somewhere. Yeah, no shit. Love Clint Eastwood, man. It was my favorite. Everybody says, John Wayne. Uh, okay, whatever. But Clint Eastwood, that's the dude. LOL. Thanks also for all you do for the community. Hope you like the truck. Sorry it took a minute to get done. Yeah, well, <laughs> you don't need to tell me. I got people waiting forever. I'm surprised they're 
Heaven gave up on me. Peace. Outro. Then he's got his signature at the bottom, which is the baddest, best signature I've ever seen anybody ever do. I can't believe he writes like that. Unbelievable. Then he wrote, Trump 2024. <laughs> In your face. Def Leppard sucks. No, just kidding. Um, yeah, but what he sent me is, or what I bought was, in case y'all don't know, that was a Joe Dirt reference. Def Leppard sucks! Anyway, bought me one of his Trump trucks. And, uh, oh, cool. Stuck a little flag in the case. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. He's got it wrapped up and wrapped up in the bubble wrap. Ooh, baby. Dang, that is nice. Damn, I like them wheels, too. Damn, those are the same wheels. Yep, they're the same wheels I got on that Camaro back there from Burn C. Check that baby out. Let's put her up here. Let's put that baby on spin. Oh, there it goes. Hey, he got a little case. He signed it. Pete. Um, got his last name on there. I don't think he cares. But anyway, check that baby out. Let's see. Hmm, maybe I need to lower her down a little bit. Look at that. Trump 2024. Let's check this baby out. Well, see, that's what I hate about when it turns like that. It makes my camera refocus a lot. Look at the bullet holes. That's cool. I didn't notice that before. It's got all the bullet holes in there. Oh, that's awesome. Those wheels are killer. Look at the bullet holes in the back. Now, you know what's crazy is he posted a little community post to this. That's all, saying he was taking pre-orders and somebody commented, I just unsubbed. What the heck, man? Really, dude? I think I'm going to turn that turntable off. I don't like how it's spinning or, or how it's messing with my camera. I'll just, I'll just move the truck here, here and there. Let's look at it right there for a little bit. Oh, yeah, nice. Let me lift this up a little bit. But yeah, he's like, I just unsubbed. And all he did was show this truck and say he was taking pre-orders. Let's see if that'll show. What the heck, man? People hate Trump that much. That much. Unbelievable. And, um, but, you know, it's all crazy. It's like, well, okay, so what? Get out of here. Unsub, dude. Cruise. What do, what do you think that means? Look at that. Sweet. Nice job. Well, yeah, I thought that was uh, crazy. And then, so I commented on his deal. I don't care. I said, dang, dude, he must have TDS. No, I just believe in democracy. Dude, you're stupid. That tells me right there you're some dude in your 20s or something. Trump's not the threat to democracy. <laughs> Besides, we're a republic. Democratic republic. You guys forget that. Anyway, I just thought that was crazy. I just unsubbed. Well, then get out of here. Skedaddle, dude. Look at that, man. And those are the same wheels. Fern has on that Camaro. Fern just dotted the center cap red. Gave it that little touch. That looks good, Pete. I like it. Yeah, he uh, he sells the things. Um, not a bad price either. Um, I think I think it was like forty bucks shipped. Shoot, those wheels ain't cheap. This stuff is a lot of work. And I mean. You'll see Steve. Steve buys a lot, you know, many stings. He buys a lot of these trucks and cars from Shop 164 or something. I don't know. But um, but I don't know what he pays for those customs. But they got awesome paint jobs and maybe some wheel swaps, but nothing else. There ain't nothing else done to them that I see. So sometimes I say to myself, damn, dude, you do way too much on your customs. 
but I don't know what they sell those for. And it doesn't matter because I, I do to my customers what I like to do. So, you know, it's all good. But um, I would say they're probably around the same, you know. So that's not a bad price for, for, for customs. And it doesn't hurt to help out, you know, people in a community, you know, um, like that. I mean, honestly, I don't really buy a lot of customs. I make my own. But this was Trump. 2024 so of course i was on board and um i got another car from mini stangs it's a, it's a mercedes with the trump logos on it but i was going to show it to you but i already stuck it in my case it's in a case and it's got more cases on top of it so i can't really just get it out real easy um but uh so that'll be an, that's another trump vehicle and but yeah, pretty sweet. Look at that. And like I said, when I when I said, yeah, I'll take it, I didn't even notice the bullet holes. Ain't that crazy? And, uh, you know, and I get it. Both sides are, you know, just full of crap when they go to talking noise. But, I mean, I, I still can't help. This is the best choice, guys, for America. If you like what America's been, he is the best choice. Can he change it? Can he fix it? Shit, I don't know. But he damn sure ain't going to keep giving millions to Zelensky. He ain't going to do all that other crap. And um, that's just, it's just, it's just a shame what's going on, you know. And, um, and that does this look good. I just, I like that. Excellent job there, Pete. Pete's also one done that. Well, you can't see it, but you normally can. That rat pink I got back there. Done the old gasser you see right back. Ooh, he's focusing on the blazer. Let me change that. There it is. He did that rat pink for me right back there a couple years ago. A Nova. But yeah, look at that. Ooh wee. Nice, nice. I like it. Looks good. Yeah, I don't know what to, I'm going to have to try to put that somewhere. Sweet, I'm going to put this case to the side. But yeah, it's crazy, they, you know, they, they constantly tell us how he's the one that's going to destroy us. My goodness, have you seen what they've done to us this past three and a half, four years? Oh my God, man, we're last on everything. We just had them storms, and instead of giving anything to take care of the storms, they sent a hundred something million to Lebanon. Crazy man. And then I, I know some people are saying, "Oh, they control the weather." They, you Republicans are so crazy. Marjorie Taylor, Marjorie Taylor Greene, you're a nutcase. Guys, you might want to do a little research. They, I'm not saying they sent that hurricane over there. But don't kid yourself. They can control some things. They definitely can. And they, there's even articles. You can research them and find them. And uh, you'll even find some stuff on WikiLeaks, which they'll take down because they like to hide that stuff. But matter of fact, night, back in, what, 68? What was it? Operation Popeye during Vietnam. Remember all the rain? They helped cause those monsoons with their seeding of, they constantly seeded the clouds to, pro, to prolong the monsoons. That's documented. That was in 68 they were doing that. Constantly. That's why we was, they tried to just relentless downpours over there. And they were successful. They've been doing this a long time, guys. Don't think they don't know <laughs> how much more advanced do you think they are now. Now, do I think they created a hurricane and sent it over there? No. I mean... I wouldn't put it past them, but no, I don't really buy all that. But they can control things. They've already admitted to being able to make things better or worse. They believe it, re, you you crap yourself if you research this enough. It was created for warfare. They were using some of that stuff for warfare, and it was it was allegedly outlawed because they were a success in many areas. So don't think for a second when the Democrats say that the Republicans are just crazy and you can't do that. That's not true. They can do these things. And, but anyway, no, I don't think they intentionally sent hurricanes over there to destroy North Carolina and all that. But that's just, you know, how 
Both sides get a little nutty at times. Golly, look at that. That is cool, Pete. Yeah, I didn't notice them bullet holes, man. I did not notice those. Cool truck. Really like it. So there we go, guys. Yeah, no, you bet, Pete. Um, no problem, buddy. Man, I don't know. I'm gonna keep this display case off to the side, but I don't know. I might. I'm gonna probably leave that sitting right there for a while. I like how that looks right there. Let's just back up a little bit and take a look at that. Oh, come in a little more. Doo -doo. Not bad. Maybe three. There we go. Yeah, let's go back five. I'm like looking at it. Boom! Shoot, damn, look at that. Yeah, I'll probably leave it sit there a little while. So there we go, guys. Um, seemed like I wanted to tell you something else. I don't remember what it was. Um, oh, I don't remember what it was. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, I don't remember. I know the uh, the drawing sold out, so I'll get I'll get that handled this weekend for sure on the lowriders, and um, I'll probably put something else up. I don't know, or it's a lowrider. It's a lowrider two ten. You know, you guys know what it is. We'll get that done and um, go from there. And uh, Colin, don't forget to let me know, man. I hope you I hope these are cool if you don't already have them. But like I said, I'll send you my. One and only raw, because again, like you guys, uh, like I told you before, I don't care about all that crap. And this van is the regular, and it's a, a it's limited to three thousand pieces. It's a limited edition as well. But you know, what does that really mean? But um, hopefully that'll cheer you up a little. And like I said, I'll look around and see if I got some more vans. If you know, I can send you since you like vans. Um, I don't know, and uh, I'll s and just just go ahead and go to my email and give me your address, and um, I'll get you something sent. Try to, you know, I understand. Ooh, sorry, I bumped right into it. I understand how it goes, man. Diecast is cool. It can cheer you up. Look at that. That truck just. I just love that, Pete. You guys can't tell me that's not nice looking. If you want one? Get over there and tell him. He'll make it. Well, I don't know how many decals he's got, but. It was only 40 bucks shipped. And I don't think that's a bad deal. Oh, look, I didn't even look at the bottom. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Pete, Pete color matches. I always do my flat black. Oh, look at that. He's got his little logo down there. Old man die cast. Let me hold that still so it'll focus. Oh, yeah, I got to go back and then in. There we go. Old man, look at that old geezer. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of detail you can do on the bottom of these. But yeah, I forgot. He color matches his bases. That's a good little signature. And um, we all have our own little thing. I always do mine either gloss black or flat black. And um, But yeah, you, that's a good little truck, guys. I mean, that's pretty sweet. Anybody wants one, get a hold of Pete. And, I mean, I'm sure he could use the extra but you know like i said it any of you guys make customs you know you're not making much of anything off of that it's a lot of work plus them wheels i'm not positive but i'd say they because i haven't ever bought this kind of wheel actually but they're probably 10 to 12 bucks a set he may have got them a little cheaper somewhere but my guess would be 10 maybe maybe nine dollars but I, i'm leaning more between nine and 12 bucks and so you look at that right there, and that's, then you got decals, I don't know what they are, three to five bucks, so you're, you know, half the money, half the money, he, he's lucky to make $15 off that, because he's still got to ship it, and like I said, it was 40 bucks shipped, I believe, and um, so anyway, if you guys are interested, get a hold of him, and um, I'm sure he'll make you one, I don't know how many he's got left. But yeah, let's see. I'll try to show you how it does look great. Give you guys a better close-up look so you can see. No flaws. 
awesome paint. Very nice job. Now I don't know if he done them all like that. Maybe I got special wheels. Because I mean, he may have hooked me up because he wishes I was, he was a woman. Eh, no, I'm just kidding. But honestly, I don't know if those are the wheels he puts on all of them. I know Steve, Mini Stangs, bought one. So I don't know if he got different wheels or what. I haven't seen it shown yet. But, um, but anyway, there you go, guys. And hey, I'll go ahead and say it now. If, you know, and it won't hurt my feelings. And you go ahead and if that, if that offended you and you got to leave now, you can go ahead and write in my comments, I just unsubbed! And I'll shed a couple tears and then I'll go on about my day. And I'll probably sing myself another song like Terry Jacks. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. Boy, I remember that one too. Remember that? I remember that as a little kid. We'd run around saying that. But the cops with their guns, they would shoot us in the buns. I was saying a lot of that was going on because in the 70s, we started coming up with that. Because I don't know about everywhere else, but in California, man, streakers were everywhere. And you know what a streaker is? They'd take their clothes off and they'd just start walking down the street. And cops would be chasing him down. I remember we come from high school one day and me and Andy Salcedo walking and his brother was from Vietnam, one of his brothers. And all of a sudden, we see him go walking across the street over there. He's an older guy, you know, Vietnam. So they butt naked, cops chasing him and he takes off running, you know, old tallywhacker slinging in the wind. And these cops tackled him, man. And I was, me and, me and Andy were like, oh, gross, dude. Who would tackle that naked dude? I wouldn't tackle that naked dude. And, uh, but yeah, streakers were everywhere. It was the craziest thing I ever seen, man. I was like, why would you do that? But I guess it was a thing back in the 70s. But yeah, so we'd, we'd say that. But yeah, there's another good song. Old Terry Jack, Seasons in the Sun. God, guys, you just don't know, man. I miss those days. So nice. No phones, none of that crap. Go outside and you wanted to talk to somebody, you go over there. You know, you, know, you don't, it was just, oh my goodness. Those are the days when you would ride, if, 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 back then you'd ride around in your car on the beach or something, or well, you know, my cousin's car, and you'd, you know, pick up girls, talk to girls, roll your window down, hey, what's up? All normal behavior. Nowadays you did that, it'd be like, freak, pervert arrest that guy <laughs> I mean it's different nowadays so different anyway guys I better let you go I'm rambling on there's another one Bob Seeger ramble on <laughs> no, let me stop alright guys get a hold of Pete you want one of those awesome super fly Trump anators thanks again Pete Peace. Oh, yeah, Colin, don't forget to let me know. Thanks again, Mr. Jeffries, for passing that awesome NO64 on to McNasty. McNasty will definitely love it. And I will see you guys this weekend a little bit later when I do the drawing and so on and so on. And um, we'll go from there. Peace. Outro.